Hello, it's almost two weeks for the last video if I remember right. Uh, now we are in different place, farm in Philippines have to move. Uh, and reason is NPA is attack uh, there in Sikatuna place where we was uh, planning to build house and first we take a trip to the Pohol where we plan to do but their place was too expensive and now we are other side of the mountains of Sikatuna in La Libertad and this is much better place, safer place now and uh, wife is there cleaning the land and that house is our friend's house and they have uh, also baboys there you can check but now our, our plan is that we build our little house uh, somewhere here in front and balcony so it's quite same as we planned it before and uh, it's coming here in this area and around here when we have cleaned it all we put garden vegetables everything and also other places like this here we plan it to put also uh, not sure where we can put chicken coop or area for the chickens but uh, we go to check now there is a place for our boys our pigs it's only maybe three weeks four weeks and first one is coming so we are now quite busy I have been big problems with my back but uh, now it start to be better so we can work now now we try to do every day here but one problem is now that um, in Sikatuna we have by already 10 coconut tree it's it's like a that big coconut tree we buy we buy already 10 uh, but it's up there in mountain and it's very far from here not if you are bird and fly <laughs> not so far but you have to round there going to city two cities and or towns and it takes maybe two hours for car uh, and the problem is it's very expensive I think that if we get those trees here it's cost more than what we paid the trees oh, there is someone with motor didn't know that can drive here also I haven't drive now it's very dry so maybe it's okay but I have to be careful with my back yes so we have tried now to get coconut trees here but there is no anyone selling and the main reason is if you if you see it's harvesting time for the those nuts so many there is more ops. Uh, I don't know how to use this. Yes, there it is. You can see so many, so many coconuts is now, and that is good income for uh, local people. So they don't want that. They sell and cut now trees. 
so that is one problem what we have to solve but otherwise bamboo we can get here and everything else everything else I have to sew also the solar what is here there you can see it's not proper installed but it's only one day has been there it's one of the panels and systems what I have done they are very happy happy now because they have lived here several years and no electricity but now they can use lights charging devices and little electrical things they can use <laughs> we have to also get like that but I don't know where, where we get money but next we can go check the baboys here is not only free range chickens they are totally free they are wandering here everywhere and that is also a problem because chicken gets sick very easily because chicken is eating anything it's eating poopoo -poo of dogs pigs anything poison or not and then they get sick here is the zoo it's a white big one very friendly yes and here is the piglets very good looking piglets Good number. They have a little pen like this. It's easy maintenance. You can wash and, and clean the poop there out. So they are feeling well. But our ours maybe some of those is coming for us but uh, we plan it here behind that very nice buri tree here you can see very big here is my hand very big uh, this is the area what we planted in banana going here and beside the truck I mean that this is for our pigs and uh, maybe 70 100 square meters because our baboys our pigs are native so they like more to run and we just put fence that it's safe and they are not run away many times they are keeping open but we can do that and uh, have to see how it goes hopefully we can get all or our own souls here all our souls is now there someone else is keeping taking care of them and, uh, and then we just get the help of the piglets and and bring here and uh, native pigs in this area is only for 
two to three months and then it's selling out because they want to make lechon. It's a barbecue what they are doing here and that is most of native. But if it's possible, if our money is enough, I want to keep keep some growing pig and and uh, maybe one hawk that we can produce our own piglets. No need to pay for that. And of course, so my goal is that this year we have uh, four native sauce and four white sauce but uh, have to see how, how it goes it's it, if you buy adult more than eight months old so it's maybe six to ten thousand pesos so it's quite expensive depends of course what what quality is but of course I don't want to buy poor one, bad one. Most of, if you compare uh, big souls here, that, that white one is very big, very rare. Uh, you can see black native pigs because her pattern. I like this place. This is very quiet, nice. So native pigs are not so big, but uh, of course if you take good care and give them food. My thought is that the uh, Philippines, my other hand, other places also same, same pigs are most healthy pigs in the world because they are eating mostly leaves, vegetables, fruits. <laughs> I have time to rest now. Can't find her. She goes on behind the tree. <laughs> okay. Yes, sure. The native pigs are most healthy pigs because if you have enough uh, food like that, then, then no need to give any feeds commercial feeds, what you have to buy. And it's... The commercial feeds are quite expensive also. Here if you buy it's about 25 to 50 pesos, so it's 50 cents to one dollar or one euro per kilo. And then it's 40 percent maybe for your big selling price is is going with the feeds. But if you grow your own food for them then basically it's free if if you don't count count your hours. Here our friends has they are very busy to work but they have a lot of pineapples like this and but if they are low it I put here also big garden in this area. We have a lot of now already little plants what need to put and and more we want to put. If I have money I don't keep animals, I just focus in gardening gardening but uh, we have to keep animals. As soon we uh, we have uh, get the house ready, we get chickens for our own food and for sale. 
and of course the pigs are coming soon also here. So that is our plan now. I have to try to get my back well that I can walk also good for here. I don't know if you can see here Mountain Kanla on. Maybe here is other, other mountains, but uh, otherwise, nice place, nice place I like. Oh, I have a good wife, very hard working. Be careful there. Have to finish this. Oh. There in coconut tree. Oh. Yeah, but don't take all because then these people is seeing there is going footpath that way there. We want to keep privacy a little. This is good now. Don't get too tired. Tomorrow is new day. So many coconuts, it's a little hard to see. I, I climb there in. This was a vegetable also. You remember name? Hmm. <laughs> we have to learn all the all the vegetables. At least what is herbal for our healthy and what Baboy can eat. And of course we can eat also. Yes, now can see better. looking mountains here. There's big valley here. Yes. That kind of place we have now. I'm very happy that we start now and surely hope that now is not happening anything more <laughs> that we can focus focus for now this. Okay. Thanks for now and see you soon. This is the footpath to the road. It's not long, it's just up there. But I want to show this is our friend's rice fields. little problem when it's heavily raining this is a little hard to go but and this is other side yes this is how is Philippines quite stress-free so now surrounding